So if somebody tells me China has a bubble in this sector or that sector, yes, for sure, it's inevitable. But I prefer to have China's bubble than the bubble in the U.S., that for sure. In the U.S., the bubble is the credit bubble, government debt bubble, that will, in my opinion, never be repaid except in worthless U.S. dollars. And so if you ask me about the correction in the gold market, yeah, for sure, there will be corrections. We already corrected more than 10% from the peak. I think the correction could last somewhat longer. But when I look at Mr. Obama and that Mr. Bernanke and that Mr. Kim Geith, uh, Tim Geithner and Larry Summers, the one thing I will never do in my life is to sell my gold. I believe all governments will eventually go bankrupt except probably in emerging economies they're in a better shape because they're a smaller part of the total economy and the economies are not as leveraged as in the Western world. And most importantly, for instance, in the whole of Asia, the governments have not unfunded liabilities for health care like in the U.S. and Social Security. If people retire in Asia when they're old, the children have to look after them. And therefore, I think that actually, I'm convinced the U.S. government will go bankrupt, but not tomorrow. And before they go bankrupt, they'll print money, and then you get very high inflation rates. And then you get the depression with high inflation, and eventually they'll go to war. And can you please name some other countries which are joining the club of this potential bankrupt? Well, I think that the pigs, obviously, uh, Portugal, uh, Portugal, Ireland, uh, Italy, Greece, Spain, they are also candidates for an eventual default, yes. In general, I think that all currencies will over time depreciate against uh, precious metals, gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. Mm -hmm. That in concert, the pay... The purchasing power of paper money will go down. But there will be some reserve currency anyway, and what it will be. Well, I mean, we may go back one day to a system that is uh, more rigid in the sense that countries will be forced to adhere to a higher discipline, like under a gold standard. I mean, we could easily go back to a gold standard today, but they would have to revalue the gold price to something like a million dollars per ounce. Then you can implement the gold standards very easily. I don't know whether the price is too high or too low for oil. Ask Mr. Bernanke how much money will print. If he prints enough, then it, the price of oil will be at $700 a barrel. And if he keeps money tight, then the price will go down again somewhat. But uh, I can assure you, since I'm involved in mining, to find a new barrel of oil, the marginal cost of production is essentially $70. So if the price drops much below $50, nobody will go and look for oil. Then uh, compared to those other costs, oil prices are actually rather on the low side. It's much cheaper to buy a gallon of oil than a gallon of Coca-Cola or Perrier water. So I don't know what is too high. Is Coca-Cola too high or the price of oil too high or so? But uh, my view is... Ten years from now, I think that prices for oil could be much, much higher than now, as well as for other commodities. At what level? Well, again, depends on how much money you print. If you print a lot, then the sky is the limit. The reserves are going down, and in my opinion, one day this will lead to substantially higher oil prices. I also like to mention that the whole world is paying attention to people like Mr. Bernanke, what they have to say and so forth, and hardly anybody is paying attention to really, in my opinion, very dangerous geopolitical developments in the world, because it should be clear to anyone that neither China nor India nor Russia have any interest at all that the U.S. succeeds in Afghanistan. That should be very clear. And so this war in Afghanistan will go on and on and on, and eventually it may very well escalate. And uh, when war breaks out, then, I mean, the sky is usually the limit for commodity prices. Great. Uh, 
somewhat unusual note, so I think we should stop. Uh, thank you very much.